This is Hayes Q Jones, your DVD and Blu-ray baller on a budget. And this is HQ Videos for you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe. If you're a current subscriber, welcome back. Come on in, make yourself at home. This week, I actually went out to Lakeland Mall, Lakeland, Florida, and I actually hit an FYE. I've been out to FYE, and I can't remember. We don't have an FYE out in my part of uh, Florida, in the Tampa area. They don't have an FYE where I live. So it was nice kind of going there and uh, seeing what they have, and you'll see what I picked up along with some other stuff. But before I get into that, not only do I collect movies, yes, I actually watch them. And quick little aside before I get to that, my son's doing much better. Uh, he still tested positive. They tested again last Thursday, though, but he doesn't show any symptoms. He still tests positive, but he feels much better. So thank you for everyone that was concerned. But into what I watched for the week, before I actually get into that, something very interesting I saw on Amazon Prime commercial. They have a new series coming out later in 2022. I think it's maybe September. It's Lord of the Ring, uh, Ring of Power. It's a television series. I'm just kind of curious how that's going to work. I'm assuming it's based on the book, which is, or the movie, the book or the movie. And pretty much if you've seen the extended version of the movie, I don't know how they're going to do this to a series. Just break it up into one hour section. But I'm curious to see how that's going to play out. So if you have any comments about that, please leave it in the comments on how you feel about Lord of the Rings from the television series. But the first show I watched for the week is the new season of Dexter New Blood on Showtime. This actually they debuted last year, November 7th, 2021. Amazon tried to pull the okie doke on me. They let me watch the first episode on Amazon Prime. They tried to catch uh, charge for the other one. So, of course, I found a way around it. But we're only in the second episode in. Still has Michael C. Uh, Michael C. Hall and Jennifer Carpenter and main stars, except it's a new location. He has a new identity and new victims to kill. So I don't give spoilers. I don't give too much away. Plus, I'm only two episodes in. Very interesting so far. Dexter, new blood. Just watched this recently with, with the boy. He was actually in one room and I'm in the other. It's the fourth installment of the Ghostbusters saga, Ghostbusters Afterlife. This actually came out in 2021. This is based on the 1984 classic movie Ghostbusters, starring Carrie Coon. Well, the new, the new Ghostbusters Afterlife stars Carrie Coon. You might know her from the series Fargo, which I haven't seen yet. I love the movie Fargo. I haven't watched the television series. And Finn Wolf, Wolfhard. I can't believe that's his actual name. Finn Wolfhard from Stranger Things. Can't wait till they drop their new season this year. This, this is about Egon's grandchildren. And they take over the farm that he was living on. And I'll leave it at that. I don't get into any details. I knew very little about the plot going in, which I'm glad it had some great cameos I was exper I wasn't expecting. Uh, they pulled a lot of the story from the original Ghostbusters. Very nostalgic. Liked it a lot better than the last Ghostbusters. Um, the last Ghostbusters is kind of slapstick. If it was just by itself, it probably wouldn't have been so bad. But because it was part of the Ghostbusters series, eh, I didn't care for it so much. But this one, I really loved it. If you watch it, make sure you watch it to the very, very end because you have some little, um, some little special cameo guests at the end. Again, very glad I waited to the very end. Ghostbusters Afterlife, really enjoyed it. The next one we have is another Korean Netflix series. All of us are dead. This actually deb debuted January 28th, 2022 on Netflix. Again, just going to Netflix, seeing what's on there. Saw this, saw the first, either first or second episode, watched it with my wife. Really digging it so far. Has a heavy train to Busan feel as far as the zombies goes. If you've ever seen the train to Busan, the zombies are just like super fast, super vicious. Nothing like The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead zombies look like they're on heroin and just all opioid opioid out these zombies are feisty and ready to kill somebody 
the closest American zombie I could probably associate this to is probably World War, World War Z, World War Z, with um, what's Pretty Boy's name? Angelina's a, oh, her Brad Pitt. Angelina's an old old man. So really enjoyed the first episode. Hopefully, the the rest of the series will be just exciting. Again, this is it takes place in a high school. So it's a high school zombie television series. So get the opportunity, catch the first episode on Netflix, All of Us Are Dead. And my last pick for the week, physical media. I was actually given this suggested by a coworker, I believe her name is Sine. I'm probably ruining her name though. She was raving about how great this movie was. Never heard of it before. It's called The Perfect Host. It's a 2011 movie starring uh, David Hyde Pierce. You might know him as the little brother of Frasier. Never watched Frasier. I watched Cheers, didn't watch Frasier. Don't, not really familiar with this guy. It also has Clyde, excuse me, Clayne, Clayne Crawford. Only reason I know Clayne Crawford, he was in, I think, the first two seasons of the television series Lethal Weapon with Damon Wayans. But the plot of the story is Clayne, Clayne Crawford, he's on the run and trying to find a place to hide out. So he's going house to house and he finds a house that unknowingly allows him to stay. This is the perfect host. Fantastic movie. Probably one of the best movies I've seen in a while. 2022 is already coming out with a, a big kick as far as movies I've seen. Mother Android, I mentioned last week with a great movie. This is even better. This this just doesn't have plot twists as twists, turns, ups, downs, oh shit, oh damn. This is, very good movie. I wasn't expecting to be this good. So get the opportunity. Definitely check out The Perfect Host. Now, without further ado, sit back, relax, have a drink, have a smoke, and I'll catch you on the other end of this video.
We are back at the Black Cave. Back at the Black Cave. We are back at the motherfucking Black Cave. And I have what I picked up at FYE in Lakeland Mall. I have what I picked up at Value Pond in Tampa. And I have some special classics here. Some classics for the month of February. Special for your visual consumption. So give me a minute. Let me get these scanned in. And I'll get you good people on your way. Hold on. I'm going to kick it off with what I picked up at FYE. I haven't been to an FYE probably in at least five years. So it was fun looking through there. But it also brought back some memories why I never bought a lot of, bought a lot of stuff at FYE. Shit as high as draft booty. So I only got a couple things, mostly stuff on clearance. Let's start out with the four pack Militant Eagle, the Prodigal Boxer. Moonlight Sword and Jade Lion and the Bloody Fist. Love these Warner Brothers four film packs. I have a bunch of them. Matter of fact, hold on. Let me get these out the wrapper and I'll actually show you some of the old uh, Warner Brothers four packs. Hold on. You can see I only paid two fifty for this. No way I'll pay ten bucks for that. I'll be smoking something if you think I'm paying that much. Hold on. Get out the wrapper. These are some of my. Warner film favorites. And some of these actually have on um, Blu-ray also. Wish I can get these on Blu-ray. Love to have these on Blu-ray. <clears throat> see. I don't think any of these are on Blu-ray. I'm not positive. So, as you can see, and let's see. Yeah, I only have a few more, so I'll go over those real quick. Of my film favorites, so I'll be adding this to the film favorites. But let's check that out. I'm back to this, and very cool. I hate when they have the um, the flip ones where they don't have any artwork, so you have to movies on both sides. The middle of the eagle and the prod prodigal boxer on one, and Moonlight Sword and Jade Lion for the other one. Four film favorite martial arts and my other pickup at FYE I paid seven bucks for this the Super Friends the legendary superpower show the complete series so let me get this out we'll take a look at this one this is gonna make the shelf too and stuff like this really I don't have a help a choice but have it hit the shelf because I really can't put the artwork in the folders so plus it goes with the other super friends stuff I already have already on the shelf so this is the classic Mr. Misplick 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 Batman Firestorm so very cool stuff Hawkman Green Lantern Flash. So very happy to add this to my Super Friends Warner Brother collection. This is what I picked up at FYE. Now at the pawn shop, value pawn. Didn't find a whole lot, but didn't spend a whole lot. I spend one buck. Two movies. That's a Curtis Jackson a piece. That's 50 cents a piece. First one. Let's see. Yeah. Jigsaw. I'm waiting to add this to my collection. I have the whole Saw collection with the exception of Jigsaw. And the latest one that just came out with Chris Rock. I don't have this. And on Amazon, this is in my list. It was like five bucks. It's not bad. 
but 50 cents a Curtis Jackson. Yeah, I can't beat that. Got the DVD and the Blu-ray. Plus the code. I don't know if the code works, but even if it doesn't, 50 cents, 25 cents a disc. One of the Blu-ray. Not a bad deal. Jigsaw. The other, this is a 2021 release. 12-hour shift. Pull your shift together. Very interesting dark comedy. Uh, that's the best way I can put it. I don't go, go into too, too much detail. It's just this chick. For some reason, I thought this was Helen Hunt. It's not. Um, what is her name? Angela Bettis. For some reason, I don't know why I thought that was uh, Helen Hunt, but Angela Bettis. Great role. Great role for her. Uh, Arquette has a, a minor co-starring role. So very interesting, very quirky, dark comedy. Get the opportunity. Check it out. 12-hour shift. So this I picked up at Value Pond. 50 cents a piece. Curtis Jackson a piece. Next, these I've actually been picking up probably over the past year or so. Specifically for this month. These are classics from the 60s and 70s. First one... Five on the black hand side. I'm still looking for a better copy as far as the cover goes because this was actually a library copy. I don't know why the hell they did that. It just ruined the whole damn cover. Because I can't. First of all, it's a copy of the cover. That pissed me off too. It's not the real cover. It's a copy of the cover. So I've only paid like eight bucks for it. It's the real disc. The real disc though. Five on the black hand side. I don't think I've ever seen this. If I've seen it, it was so such long so long ago. I forgot the, the plot. Matter of fact, this will probably not hit the shelf just because it looks so shitty. But it will go into the um, the folder. Five on the black hand side. Another classic. Fred Williamson, The Hammer. He risked death. To get out the mob. I've seen this a long time ago. I actually have this on VHS. Don't remember the details, so I'm looking forward to watching this again. It's an olive, olive film distribution, as well as 20th Street, as well as 20th Century Fox and MGM. Same thing with this. This is a olive film MGM 20th Century Fox. Next, out of film, love this movie, fantastic movie. I haven't watched in a while. Tim Roth, Andy Garcia's Lucky Luciano, Lawrence Fishburne as Bumpy Johnson, and the beautiful Vanessa Williams. All of films release. Hudlum, haven't watched since it's the DVD. Looking forward to watching this again in Blu-ray. Beautiful work on the Blu-ray disc. No inside artwork on all of films. They have some great titles, but they don't do a lot of on the inside artwork like, like Shout Factory. And do I have any of these? No, I do not. Any of these? No, I have Cujo, but not the Olive release. I have, the, I have this one, Perfect Weapon, also. So, classic. I believe this is 90s. Hoodlum. Next, another Fred Williamson, Larry Cohen film. Hell Up in Harlem. This is part of the 60s black exploitation period, 1973. When the movie industry was pretty much going belly up, so they needed something to put butts in the seats. seats. And this one they came out with a lot of fabulous movies from the 70s. Fred Williamson, Hell Up in Harlem. Another olive film release. MGM, 20th Century Fox, I believe. Yes, it is. Another one, Fred Williamson, Black Caesar. Hell Caesar, Godfather of Harlem. The cat with the 45 caliber claw. Claws. Another olive, olive film, MGM, 20th Century release. Black Caesar, classic, classic 
film. This came out in 73 also. 73. That was 73. When was this? 97. When was this? 72 was a hammer and 73 was five on the black hand side. This you have the late Christopher Reeve, aka Superman, and Morgan Freeman. Street smart. And different probably very different role than you used to see Morgan Freeman and this is when he was much younger this is a 1987 release and it's been so long since I've seen these don't remember, remember the plot so really looking forward to watching these again again 20th Century Fox MGM Olive Gardens Street Smart and all of these will be making a shelf with the exception of five on the black hand side until I find a better copy of that and you have Jim Brown Slaughter it's not only his name, it's his business. Great tagline. Out of Films, MGM release, 20th Century Fox. This was released in 1972. And yes, I was alive when these movies came out. I didn't see them in the theater, though. So, Slaughter. So, here you have my month's special picks. You have my... 50 cents Curtis Jackson picks from Value Pond. I have what I picked up at FYE. And before I forget, almost forgot my 3D pick of the week. Hold on. Almost forgot my 3D pick of the week. The Crudes, A New Age, the Blu ray 3D, Blu ray and digital code here. I actually got this on Amazon. <sighs> when was this? Maybe November, maybe? November, December sometime. I'm just waiting for the price to go down. Finally got it at a decent price. So I have the Blu-ray, the 3D version. And I haven't seen this yet, but it has all the some of the recurring cast, Nicolas Cage, Emma Stone, Ryan Reynolds, and I don't believe Peter Dink Dinklage was in the first one, so I believe he's new to the cast. So looking forward to watching this. Again, this is who is this? DreamWorks? Universal DreamWorks, you got DreamWorks, so 9 times out of 10, the 3D is going to be off the chain. So, this is my weekly pickup. You know the routine. Give me a minute, let me put some of this stuff. Uh, it's only a couple that's going to go into the folder and I work into the notebook, so it shouldn't take me long. Hold on. I have everything scanned in. Scan into my CLZ Movies app. Season Charlie. That was in Lima. This in Zebra. I have everything laid out, ready to be put back in its proper place. As usual, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me, talking movies, looking at movies. If you've lasted this long in the video and you haven't subscribed yet, the fuck is your problem? Hit the subscribe button. Help me out. I'm almost at a thousand. If nothing else, give me the big thumbs up. Other than that, please, please, everyone be safe. Uh, love the people around you because you don't know they're going to be around tomorrow. Other than that, may the best of your past be the worst of your future. Everyone be safe. Peace.